Hey, what's going on? This is your girl Patrice K. Coakley of the Baseline Group, and I am here with the very first video of this installment that I'm doing. Um, it's no name or whatnot. I'm just going to be vlogging and just sharing some tips, tricks, ideas, um, advice, things of that nature via video. Um, it's time for me to put my face out there. It's time for me to speak more, and I need to talk to my people, okay? So just consider this vlog number one I am making that commitment no matter where I'm, where I'm at no matter if I'm in the in a position to do some fancy editing no matter what I don't care what the obstacle is I will be doing these videos reaching out and talking to my folks okay so with that being said let's just go ahead and get in start get get with it um I had a rough night last night couldn't sleep and I, I know why. There was a lot of things going on in my mind. Um, well, a lot of things on my mind in regards to um, the nature of the world and just people in general right now. Necess not necessarily the world, but just people in general. I'm noticing that there's an epidemic with people talking more than they're actually doing. Okay? And it's, it's funny is that it's something that's common, but, you know... When I'm interacting with people on a regular basis or encountering people, it's like their actions aren't aren't matching with what they're doing, or their actions aren't matching with what they're saying. Um, Mr. Knowles got a chapter. Mr. Matthew Knowles he has a chapter in his book called um, "Talk to Do Ratio," and it is super high right now. That talk to do ratio right now it is super high, and I had to hop on to talk about it. Okay, this goes out to the artists entrepreneurs and and business owners and professionals of the world right now is not the time to talk more than you do you are literally doing yourself a huge disservice when you do that and let me tell you why okay simple the you know reason being we are at a time where every market every industry is super duper saturated Meaning that there's tons of people in your lane going in the same direction as you. There's this meme, right, that says, and I believe either I saw it on Instagram or a buddy of mine sent it to me, but it said, while you're overthinking your steps, there's someone else hopping three steps and just pass you right on up, okay? That's how it really is out here. It is really like that, okay? This is why I'm real big on, on, on harping to people that you really need to put in the work, okay? And I was thinking about this in my sleep last night, and then I woke up, and I started scrolling Instagram, and I came across Gary V's, um, Gary Vaynerchuk's uh, um, uh, Instagram story. And he had two wallpapers in there. One said, put in the work. The other one said, it's you versus you. And that is so, like, it is... It is so true. You have to put in that work because you're not the only one out here doing what you do. Okay? There's other people. So people need to figure out why they should choose you over somebody else. Okay? You may not think that you're competing and you're different. However, what you're doing is competing with people's time and their money. There are so many options out here uh, for, for me to spend my money on, as well as for me to, you know, spend my time instead of working with somebody, I could be watching, uh, Diddy's thing. I could be watching Diddy's new, uh, documentary instead of doing this video. I could be teaching instead of doing this. I could be doing this instead of doing this. And it's the same thing with money. I, I could be spending my money on A, but I spent it on B. So why should people spend their money and their time on you? That's what you're really competing with. And people really need to understand that. So as a result, we, as artists, entrepreneurs, or whoever, you have to put in that work. You have to. If you're, uh, if you're, uh, if you play an instrument, you know, if you're a musician, you need to be playing your instrument every day. If you're a songwriter, you need to be writing every day. If you're an, uh, a vocalist, you need to be singing all the time staying on top of your craft okay same thing for me as a brand and marketing consultant and an artist manager i'm always staying on top of my toes always because you just never know when an opportunity is going to present present itself 
prime example. And I say this a lot, but it's so true. Last year was a huge year for me professionally. Huge. People that know me for years and decades know that I've been doing what I do for nine years now. But last year was huge. I started teaching. And mind you, that opportunity came through Facebook. Ma uh, Martin Atkins, the um, department chair at SAE Institute, he's the department chair of the music business program. He posted on his Facebook about this position, about this opportunity to teach. And I hopped on it. I wouldn't have gotten that interview if I wasn't ready. Mind you, I manifested this. I wanted to teach for years. Even my mom saw me teaching for years. But I was ready when it came. And I'm still teaching to this day. Matter of fact, I see myself teaching for the rest of my life. Okay? Because now I got the experience. I'm going to be teaching forever. But I was ready for when that opportunity presented itself. Same thing. I got my biggest client ever, Mr. Matthew Knowles, Beyonce and Solange's dad, last year. I reached out to him out of frustration with the industry and just people in general and business and everything. And I reached out to him for mentorship. And he gave me, uh, He became, then he became a client. After a 15-minute call, mind you, this man didn't know me for Adam. He did not know me from Adam or Eve. After a 15-minute call, he became a client. I was ready. So I say to you, stay ready. But to do that, you have to put in the work because you never know when that opportunity is going to present itself. Okay. Another meme Gary Vaynerchuk mentioned was... Uh, um, it was in his story. It said, it's you versus you. As an artist, I notice a lot of artists get managers. Thinking that the manager is there to take the load off. They are to an extent. However, you are still supposed to put in the work as the artist. And the manager is supposed to put in the work as well as the manager. Both people have a role in that relationship. Okay? So, I, it's very important that I state this. Very important. Okay, you have to, it's you versus you at the end of the day. This is your career. This is your music career. You still have to do things as an artist. You can't rely on everybody else. You can't. There's things I do. I can't rely on my team for certain things because that's what I'm supposed to do as the founder and the owner and the brand strategist. I can't rely on someone else to do it because that's not my role. Okay, that's not their role, I mean. This is my role. So this is what I'm saying. Yes, it's important that you build your team. However, that doesn't mean that you just sit back and chill and put your feet up. You still have to put in the work. It's you versus you. Personal trainer. Prime example. If you was to get a personal trainer to help you lose weight, he can sit here, hold your hand, wipe your tears as you cry and all of that. However, you're still supposed to eat right and exercise even when he's not looking otherwise you're not going to see any results they're only there to help you to a certain extent you supposed to take it home okay so it's the same concept so the message in this video is that yo stop all this talking put in the work and know that it's you versus you okay shout out to gary v for the for the message that was right on time as I'm swirling around in my bed with these ideas and things and just a bunch of shit, <laughs> okay? Swirling, swirling around in my head. So shout out to him for putting, giving me that that tip today to just talk on it because it was a sign that it's time to be time for it to be said. So with that, again, be sure to subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as my. Um, you know what? Follow me everywhere. Just put my name in. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, uh, Facebook. Pop my name in. You'll see me. Definitely follow me. And I'll catch y'all on the next episode. Peace.